Hi everyone, and welcome back to We Wild Ones. Here we are at the Museum of Natural History in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I'm Alex. Are you ready to get started? Let's go! If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it, buzz like a bee, buzz, buzz. If you love nature and you know it, buzz like a bee, buzz, buzz. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, buzz like a bee, buzz, buzz. If you love nature and you know it, call like a crow, caw, caw. If you love nature and you know it, call like a crow, caw, caw. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, call like a crow, caw, caw. If you love nature and you know it, ribbit like a frog, ribbit, ribbit. If you love nature and you know it, ribbit like a frog, ribbit, ribbit. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, ribbit like a frog, ribbit, ribbit. Welcome back, wee wild ones. Today's special topic is on one of our body parts. It's right in the middle of our faces. Sometimes we sneeze out of them. And we especially like to use them for smelling. That's right, today's special topic is our noses. Great job, we wild ones. Do you think animals have noses too? That's right, they do. And they use them in a lot of the same way that we use our noses for. Mostly for sniffing. Can you think of some good smells? I like the smell of cookies baking and grass in the springtime. Smells can also tell us really important information too, like whether there's danger nearby. If you smelled smoke, that means you need to get a grown-up for help. Can you think of some yucky smells? Garbage? I don't like the smell of garbage. Mm -mm. That can also tell us if something might be dangerous too. If there was some food that was rotten, it would smell bad and it might make our stomach sick. Yeah. Animals use their noses like that too. I have some of my special puppet friends to help us learn a little bit about different types of animals' noses. Do you know what kind of animal this is? That's right, this is a seal. And seals have a nose right in the middle of their face. They use their noses to smell their food, like fresh fish. Their noses are pretty special too. They can close their nostrils so they can dive underwater for about 30 minutes. That's a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what kind of animal this is? That's right, this is a moose. Moose have a very long muzzle and their nose is at the end of their muzzle. They use their nose to smell if fruit is ripe, like apples. They can also close their nostrils to go swimming. Can you close your nostrils to go swimming? No. This animal is called a coyote. They have a nose at the end of their snout. Their snout's pretty long, isn't it? They have lots and lots of receptors inside their nose so they can smell really far away. Sometimes it's hard to remember that different animals have noses that look pretty different. The crow's nostrils are on its beak, almost at the top of their nose. They use their noses to smell their food. Can you think what food would be tasty for a crow? 
They're not picky. They'll eat almost anything. This is one of my favorite animals. This is called a bee. And this bee uses its special antenna for their sense of smell. Pretty neat, huh? I think so too. Well, we wild ones, it's time now for us to go on a special gallery adventure. Today we're going to be going on a scavenger hunt looking for noses. These are some very good description words to help us look for special kinds of noses. A round nose, a flat nose, a tiny nose, a long nose, a pointy nose, and a smooth nose. I'm here at the museum's snake tank, and I think the snakes must have one of these noses. Let's see if we can see together. This is called a maritime garter snake. They definitely have nostrils at the end of their nose. One, two. Snakes have noses that look pretty flat, although snakes usually use their tongues to smell. Can you see a pointy nose nearby? I think I can too. There's two birds here. This is a great blue heron, and this bird is a yellow crowned night heron, and we can see their nostrils all the way at the front of their beak on the top. These are pretty special pointy noses because they help the animals to fish. We're here in a special room in the museum collection storage, and I'm looking at an animal with a very round nose. This is called a raccoon, and he's getting ready to join the museum forest in a new exhibit. Can you see his round nose? Me too. We're looking for an animal with a smooth nose. Can you see an animal with a smooth nose? That's right. This animal is called a bullfrog. Bullfrogs have two nostrils at the front of their very smooth nose. Good job, we wild ones. If you'd like to try the scavenger hunt at home, check our website at naturalhistory.novascotia.ca. Welcome to the Museum Library, we wild ones. Today we're going to be reading a special story. This story is called Your Nose, a Wild Little Love Song by Sandra Boynton. Though I admire your angel eyes, there's something else I idolize. Your nose! Oh, whoa, 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 your nose. It's got a magic I can't ignore. What can I say? I just adore. Your nose. Yes, indeed, your nose. It's the sweetest little thing. Oh, can't you see? No nose is like your nose to me. Boop. Well, everyone can find a way to happiness, I suppose. When I am sad, I stop and gaze at your amazing no wo woes. I love your nose. Oh, wo wo wo, your nose. You can tell everybody I told you so. It's the greatest little nose I know. Yes, everyone can find a way to happiness. So it goes. I'm happy when I see your face, and it's amazing, no woe woes. Ah, choo! Bless you and your nose. Oh, woe, 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 your nose. It's the cutest little thing, and heaven knows, no nose is like your nose to me. One more time, your nose. Oh, woe, 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 
Your nose, such an excellent nose. Boop. The end. All right, we wild ones, it's time for us to go on a special adventure together. Have you ever seen a treasure chest before? Me neither. I'd like to make a special treasure chest with you and fill it with all of our favorite <sniffs> smells. I have my imaginary treasure chest. This is just an egg carton. You can use whatever you'd like. Maybe you have a basket or a special box you'd like to use. Anything that you can fill with your favorite smells. So here I am at the museum rock and there's something on this bush. <gasps> Do you know what that is? It's small, round, and the color blue. It's a blueberry, that's right. Can you think of how a blueberry smells? Ah, oh, smells refreshing, tart, and sweet. Blueberries are one of my favorite smells. I'm gonna put it in my egg carton. Let's go. Here we are in the museum forest. Ah, oh, how does the forest smell to you? Amazing. I love the smell of a forest, and I especially love the smell of fur needles. Did you know that smells can make you remember things? That's right. The smell of fur needles reminds me of a special time of year in the winter called the holidays. Pine needles smell fresh. Earthy, crisp, oh, one of my favorite smells. I'm going to add it to my smell treasure chest. Here we are at the museum honeybee hive. That's a lot of bees. Do you know what honeybees do in their hive? That's right, they're making honey. I love the taste and the smell of honey. Did you know that sometimes when we smell things, it helps us taste them too? How cool is that? The honey is one of my favorite smells. How does honey smell to you? To me, it smells warm, flowery, and sweet. I love the smell of honey. I'm going to add it to my museum treasure chest. Great job, we wild ones. Well, we wild ones, this is the part of the program where it's time for us to say goodbye. Can you remember what we did today? That's right. We learned all about noses and smells. Today we went on a scavenger hunt through the museum looking for different types of noses. And then we went to the library to read a story. And then we created a smell treasure chest together. If you'd like to see more We Wild Ones videos, tune in again next time. See you then. Yeah.